Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, welcome to Morning Recharge. Uh, I think it's my turn to go at the stop sign. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Fuck really you, stop long. sign. <laughs> I hate the stop sign so yeah. bad. Anyway. Anyways, um, okay, so I'm, I need to start this because... Uh, first I, of all, I know we said we'd do an afternoon recharge. It's still morning. We, we decided that we're going to do it in the morning because... Japan time! Uh, this the whole so there was it's a lot of a lot of Nintendo stuff that that came out last night. They had a um, investors meeting, you know, talk to the stockholders and all that. Um, that it's all nice and good. Please invest in us. Give us more of your money. Yeah, we promise we won't burn it this time. And so, here's a little rundown of what happened. So of course everybody just wanted to hear because. NX. We all heard NX, right? NX right. Was, is going to get a name reveal, it's going to get uh, maybe some specs, something. Right. That didn't happen. Of course not. In fact, the Nintendo NX will not be shown on E3 at all. And it got delayed until March 2017. What the fuck? Why they... Why? Who's the dumb fuck that decided that they, they were going to tell everyone that we're, we're going to show you the NX, we're going to tell you its actual name, specs, dreams, hopes, heaven, and then they get there and it's like, oh yeah, someone lied to you, we're not doing that Although at all. they did say right afterwards that they will be showing off information and the name and specs and launch titles for the NX this year, like uh, around end of summer. Summer is supposed to be when they were showing us the actual, like, the full out, the, the console, the games, the, the announcement that, hey, buy this in six months for Christmas for your shit kids. Not the, hey, this is what it finally looks like. I'm mad. This is a great way to start. Oh, yeah. Um, so, I mean, what, all right, so, <sighs> the... The release got delayed until March 2017. Yes. So now, now we got a month. <laughs> we have an actual like, yeah, we have a we have a 30 day frame where the NX will come out now. Except that they still have the possibility of saying, oh yeah, we're gonna delay it more, which they always can. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. What was that? Sorry. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know if you were laughing at me or if you're a little throwing up. It's kind of so, oh, someone in the middle there. I'm throwing up inside inside of my. Inside your face. Uh, yeah, face. yes. <laughs> so your whole face. That right, that's that to do with the NX. There's we have nothing. We just know when it might be coming out, and that's it. Now it's interesting to to note that handhelds always launch in March. Can we stay away from this? Oh, the NX is a hybrid console handheld bullshit. No, I'm I'm just saying. See, whereas. The, the biggest bombshell, uh, uh, you know, out of this NX thing is that... The biggest will, bombshell will, was that they're not showing a shit! That yeah. was their bombshell, was that they didn't have a bombshell! Well, yeah, the thing is that they, they will be missing out of the holiday season, which is in, in and of itself like, really? However, it is a new console, so I think practically if you have a new console launching at some time of year, people are gonna buy it, no matter what. Um, that, so that's one. And two, well... You know, it's handheld sell really well. So in that time frame, so why wouldn't a home console or whatever the hell this is? Because at this point, we don't know what the hell this is. Sure. Two. Uh, we you knew new we got new art for Zelda Wii U. Oh yay! Here yeah, it is. Yeah. See. Yeah. Um. You you look at it. Sunshine. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool, that's right? Also, something straight from the already existing trailer. I yeah. totally just they they took us uh, still from the trailer and they decided we're gonna paint this. Yeah, it looks pretty. Though. I like it. I it, like it a lot. It's nice. It looks really nice. Um, Definitely. I thought you know. Also, when someone says we got new art for game, I would expect concept art or a new character art or something other than a pre-existing still that everyone uses. It, it, yeah, I know. We use it. We use a title card. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> Re right. Rewind back to. Rewind back just and, then, and then come back here. Or, or you know what? Do it for the ball. Just rewind real quick. And ding! There it is. All right, now back to us. 
Um, so, so that's cool. They show some of the Zelda art. They do say E3 is going to focus solely on The Legend of Zelda. This right. is going to be the only playable game at the show. Well, yeah, they haven't. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it, no. it, it is confirmed to come to both Wii U and the next. Which, I mean, at this point, we kind of expected, right? Yeah. However, the game will also be delayed to March 2017 and will be released simultaneously with the NX. Now, that's what I was... That's why and I'm mad that's, about. And that's the part that that's, made me the most mad, yeah. That's what I've already been mad about, because I knew that if they were going to make it a uh, dual launch, they were going to delay it for the Wii U so that they could actually have a profitable launch for the NX. Which, I mean, as a fi it financially makes sense, right? Financially and, makes sense. Fucking over your fans, though, but yeah, sure, financially makes sense. Yeah, I mean, really what angers me the most is that, I, I mean, if it would have, because I, I would have guessed that Zelda Wii U was going to release in the fall, you know, that Thanksgiving time frame as you the know, biggest for, game comes out yeah. for the holidays, and if we would come with mm -hmm. the NX, it's like, oh, it makes sense, you know, yeah, you delayed it, but it's coming out in the time frame where it's supposed to come out anyways, so I, I wasn't too mad with that. Now, you're telling me that this console console and game are releasing in March but I'm guessing that the Wii U version of this game is basic it's near completion and it's probably um, gonna be complete by the holidays I imagine the Wii U version is probably even, it, let's say it's not near completion it's probably gonna be easier to complete than though an Xbox yeah I, I mean I mean they, they um, what's the name Anuma was talking about you know they were looking at um, they were in the process of writing the script for the game like you know having all the all those things done writing all the text and of course you gotta localize all that la 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 so I mean I know that takes time right and now what Nintendo officially said was we are working through the quality of the game bullshit which I did call I did call BS on that it's like I mean granted if you're talking about a world as big as Skyrim maybe but it's been, it's been almost six years since you started development of this game, so I don't really entirely buy that. Yeah. Also, how long did Bethesda spend on developing Skyrim? I'm not sure. Well, you have a phone call. But I'm, uh, I'm just mad that they're doing that one thing I didn't want them to do, which was delaying the game for the next release. Because now that means that as someone who already has a Wii U, and has a very small library of games for that Wii U. I now have to wait for the NX to drop before I can buy a game that I just want to play on the current uh, current console. I will say current generation. That's that's not right. But it's like why he's looking stuff up so I can hear me right for a while. So why are you going to four years? Four years in development for Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah, no, Zelda Wii U should be done now by now. Well, I mean, you, you, I mean, uh, my only, the only excuse they got is probably just the fact that uh, it is their first um, open world game uh, of this scale. Yeah. So I mean, they're probably just trying to make sure that it works the way people expect it to work. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, I mean that's it's, it's a bummer, and it makes me really mad that the fact that because of a March release, now we gotta wait three more months for the game to come out. Yep. Now granted, we're gonna that's see a, a lot whole year now. from now. Now we're gonna see an entire like, like you know gameplay and everything of the game during Game Three. So that's something. That's something. I don't want to see gameplay as much as I love. People that do Let's Plays, and as a person that would love to do Let's Plays himself, I don't want to just see gameplay of this game. I want to actually play the damn thing. Oh, it's yeah. like showing pictures of food to starving Ethiopian children. They, they, took, they called that a very immersive experience. Nintendo VR confirmed. <laughs> Virtual Boy 2. Oh god. <laughs> no, don't do that Nintendo, please don't. Of all the things we don't want you to do, aside from the, uh, the this thing you just don't do the ritual yeah, too. Yeah. I mean, granted, I, I don't, you know, 
it's only three more months after what after the holidays so it's not too much but it's still a lot it's three more months it's a whole 90 days 92 of you i get rid of that but 90 days what can you do in 90 days um go around the world and yeah. i still have time to spare and have time to spare but if i if if it's the time that it takes nintendo to release the game by adding this delay onto it, I could go around the world. I'm gonna be a little bit peeved. Yeah. Man, Nintendo, you're going down the Konami route pretty soon. Well, maybe not Konami, but now, you got the idea. Well, it kind of seems so that I really feel that Nintendo of America had nothing to do with this decision. This was entirely just Japan. Yeah, and Nintendo of America was like, fuck, I'm doing this. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Poor Reggie. He wants to play this game just as much as we do. I mean, he can play it whenever he wants. That's what you think. I mean, last E3, he's yeah. like, you know, last E3, he was like, don't worry, sell this starting out great, it's fantastic. So he has played. Or he's just stuck saying that because the Japanese corporate guys are telling him, do this or lose your job. I was gonna fire him, what? Poor man was sick. Too soon. Too soon. I mean, he, he wasn't gone yet. I mean, he was sick. He was like the last like month. Yeah, fair. How about you? But if I was dying, I wouldn't be, you know, firing people. Fuck oh, that! I'd, I'd be taking those people <laughs> to the grave with me. <laughs> Reggie, my dear friend, I have but days to live, and all that. I wish to impart to you words of encouragement and wisdom. Reggie, you're fired. Uh, I, would <laughs> I would absolutely do that on my deathbed. Just fire my second in command. <laughs> and then let the company deal with it whenever I'm dead. That's hilarious. It's such a dick move, but it's so funny. Uh, anyway. Now, that's so yeah, basically was... Nintendo, you betrayed us all. Yeah, this is, this is, okay, this was all the bad news. So we're going to start talking good stuff. Okay. Halfway through. Possibly. Yeah, halfway through. Uh, Miramo has sold, uh, has sold, has 10 million users. Miramo, that free app you have? Yeah. Yes. It's sold out 10 million times. <laughs> Excellent user language, buddy. I'm sorry. As you might, as you, I'm thinking game and game sell, right? It's, sorry. Download it 10 million times. Yay! Now, yeah. oddly enough, I only have like three friends on that, so. And there's only, and there's uh, mm. and there's about 20 million me photos around. Jesus. So if you have nothing to do and you just went to look for the hashtag me photo, you just look at that and see how the weird pictures people take. Yeah. Or the there's weird some, pictures that the app takes for you. Yeah, there's some rated R pictures and there's some pretty innocent pictures. But mostly because uh, the internet is the internet. There's it's a lot the of internet. They're gonna... there, there's a lot of sex pictures in there. So please don't let your child watch that. Yeah, if, if you're under the age of like five, you probably shouldn't have a meet, uh, meetup account to begin with. Uh, you should stop. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't realize that this was stopping. <laughs> All right, well, hey, on the bright side, we didn't crash. Thank God. On the downside, we went from 80 to 40 in like two seconds. That can, yes. that can be good for my tires. Nope. Please don't kill us. Oh, shut up. Yay, me come up. What the hell's going on? What? There might be some traffic. Yeah. Why? The world's conspiring against us. There was an accident. Of course there is. Damn it, people, London Drive! In our side. I say as I almost crashed in this man going 80 miles an hour. In our side. Fuck. Alright, so. I mean, we're not we're not gonna be late. I mean, we're not that far, anyways. We're not gonna be late. Extended recharge! Yay! Yay! Sorry. We're gonna we're gonna delay this just as much as Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh, you have to bring that up. See, I think Mighty Number no. Nine is gonna come out like ten years after Zelda Wii U, or since the next Zelda game comes out. Probably. Yeah, poor 
Yeah, it's gonna be bundled in. <laughs> Cause like you know, it was supposed to be part of you know like a Wii, a Wii U eShop game too. Mm -hmm. So by that point, there's not gonna be a Wii U. <laughs> It'll be the Nintendo NXX XX X. That's fifty, right? Yeah, uh, uh, forty, maybe fifty. I don't know. I can't Roman. The Nintendo 2DS and XL. <laughs> Cube. That's actually yeah. There you go. Did, did, did I did I make that stupid joke on camera? Yes. About the okay. Yeah. About the 64 cubed. Yeah. All right. So yeah, basically Nintendo's just kind of. Kind of getting screwed over by time. What the thing, the worst part though, is that what games do they have coming out later this year? Pokemon. I mean, then Pokemon is a big thing. I don't get me wrong. I'm very excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon. We have any kind of release for Pokemon Go, or is that still kind of up in the air? Uh, they're beta testing in um, Australia, New Zealand right now, and Japan, of course. But we don't have like a release date. No, there's actually a gameplay of it. If you want to see it. I'm not gonna put it on this channel because I don't want to get broken by the Pokemon company. Because you know they're they have their ninjas everywhere trying to keep yeah, it very and, secret. And you're not supposed to see any of that stuff. So, but obviously it exists and you can go look for it. It's, it's actually trending on YouTube, so look look for it there. It's also one of those things I imagine where every time it gets taken down, they just put it back up yeah. on a different account. Yeah. So um, so yeah, so uh, we were talking Miramo, really great. And two, and I'm actually kind of excited about, about this, is that, so you know how Nintendo's making uh, mobile games? Yeah. There's uh, two coming out this fall. One is going to be based on Animal Crossing. Okay. And the second one's going to be based on Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem, you say? Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, I should There's really some logos for both right here. Play through Conquest. Because I still haven't done that. I still haven't finished. Then I gotta do the birthright. Then I, <clears throat> then I gotta go do birthright. Then I'm gonna what was it? Revelation. And yes. then I'm gonna tackle all the DLC. All right. Now is this a crash or is this just how bad is this? It's a crash. Ah, it still drives. Come on, don't be such a baby. So we're free! Yay! Yay. Back up to. 50 because the car in front can't find their gas pedal. Anyway, so yeah, no, um, what's this about Fire Emblem? Uh, there's going to be a Fire Emblem mobile game. Do we have any idea what it's going to be like? Nope. Alright, cool. Same thing with Animal Crossing. I swear, if they try, if they make it into, like, Fire Emblem, the MMO, where uh, everyone you meet is, like, a character you can use. I'm gonna be a little bit kind of worried about that. No, they do say that they're, they're gonna to try to translate, you know, what the game's, the essence of Fire Emblem into a mobile game. Okay. So it's not gonna be like, like an RPG. So it'll just be a, it'll be closer to a port of, what was that? A port of Fire Emblem from the handheld to mobile, more than it would be like a Fire Emblem Mitoma functionality. Yeah. Alright, cool. Which, I mean, It'll, it'll be cool. Like, heck, they could just release Fire Emblem Chess on, uh, on for, for mobile and I still buy it. Yeah. I don't know what you could do with Animal Crossing, though. Animal Crossing? I mean, you, I never played I, it before, so I don't know. So what Animal is, what Crossing, I imagine that, that would take more of... That would take more, uh, more of a... Uh, a social aspect, I imagine. Because the whole thing with Animal Crossing is you get into a town, you get a house, and then you find out you have a mortgage on that house. So now you start working for the literal devil, dressed up as a adorable little Tanuki guy. Uh, and then you go around day to day, and you make your town look prettier, you sell things to make money, you help the museum, collect everything from fish to insects to fossils and art you can go and upgrade all your tools that you have for digging and chopping and hitting and shooting and whatnot shooting as in you have a slingshot to hit presents that are in the air uh, and then you just go day-to-day -day life and you make your 
city the best city there is? Or town, whichever it is. I don't remember. I think it's town. And then eventually you pay off your mortgage. You have the biggest house in the game. You complete all the collections and um, and then you're done. And that might take you years. Real time, not in game. Also in game is real time. I don't know man, people spend more time in their phones than they do in the real world, so. All I know is my, uh, I have city folk on uh, the Wii. Yeah. I think I have, between my sister and I, we have something like 70, 75 hours really? in that game. We're not halfway being done. And we also, we're, we don't even have the best rate for our town. We also haven't played in a while, but yeah, the, the game takes hours away from your life. Cool. But yeah, imagine that would be more of a social aspect where you have your own house, you can decorate it, you can invite people over, you can kind of, depending on where you are in the real world, you can kind of get like, you know, you can go find different things outside, you can kind of explore a little bit, things like that. But I don't really know. I don't think they're gonna make a full Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, Crossing, Animal Crossing port onto mobile or game onto mobile, whichever. It's not really a port. But you know, it, I don't think they're gonna do that. They, they're probably gonna put in the social gimmick. Let's say they're gonna have that. Okay, so we already made home designer. So let's do the other half of what Animal Crossing is. The into the into explore the explore the town and make money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there, I mean, there's also a lot of apps like that in the in the app store, so I mean, it, it yeah. would make sense. Yeah, I guess. I'm interested in doing the RPG though, like, very far I'm on my phone, oh hell yeah! My phone's gonna die uh, before before it's 5, like, you know, before it's 10 a.m. My phone's gonna break, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna die in some really bullshit move. I'm just gonna snap my phone in half. <laughs> I'm calling it now. My, my phone's gonna break after five minutes. I mean, it's launched. Your 3DS hinge is still there. That's because I don't have the patience to move my hand from here to here to snap it. What I usually start doing is I'm, as I'm holding it, start doing this. I just start doing this. Uh. But of course, it's pretty resilient, so it's not gonna break like this. And I usually I, I, it gets to the point where I realize I don't actually want to break this. But if I had the energy, if I had the energy to move my hands onto the hinges and snap it like that, it would absolutely have been done already. So my phone, basically, I'm going to be holding it, I imagine it's probably going to play uh, sideways. I'm going to be playing on it, I'm going to die, I'm just <laughs> dead. Two halves of the phone. Okay, get a Nokia. <laughs> Alright, sure. I, I, would I would never advise anybody to ever get a Nokia anymore. But for the sake of having a phone, get a Nokia. <laughs> that is good advice. <laughs> I never said I would ever utter those words in my life. Except for when you're playing a rage-inducing Fire Emblem game, get a Nokia. See, Nokia can come back to the phone market now. <laughs> they, they, they can advertise using, Do you rage when you play video games on your phone? Then fear not! The Nokia phone is here! I love the... I love your superhero voice. It's like so generic, you know, 80s washed up superhero who's kind of like, you know, full of himself. Yeah. It's just so perfect for that. Like I, that's what I imagine. Like you know, Superman's somewhat you know lazy cousin would sound like. So you know, congrats on that, and all. Thank you, thank you. I tried. See, I can act. <laughs> act. Just speaking of acting from last, from last, uh, from last, from time, last right? time, yeah. So that all Nintendo, or do we still? That was uh, pretty much all of the Nintendo stuff that came out. Jesus. So yeah, so Zelda, Zelda, Mighty Number no. Nine, delay, and more mobile stuff. We have done nothing but talk about Nintendo. Yeah. The last like three, four recharges. No, we didn't talk about Nintendo last time. Did we? Too much. I don't think we did. Eh. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, what else you got? Or it was Nintendo all you got? Um. Aside from that, there was some other thing. I mean, I went talk about the Killing Joke trailer, but I didn't get to see it. Oh shit, that came out, yeah, I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that came out yesterday. I saw it on the front page of Reddit, but I don't even, I didn't actually, you know, I didn't watch, watch the it. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's something, it's gonna be rated R, so, 
I guess support that. I guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you like DC Comics, Luke Skywalker, and Batman, there you go. He's a Batman twice, dude. DC Comics, Luke Skywalker, and Batman. Yeah. He's a Batman twice. I think he said it once. He said Luke Skywalker. Yeah? Yeah. DC no. Comics. Oh no, you're right. Luke I'm Skywalker dumb. Cut, and Batman. cut that. Cut that. Yeah. I thought. All right, let's cut that. I, I thought that Mark Hamill was also Batman. I forgot that he was fucking Joker. Cut that. Oh, I, I don't feel like being dumb today. And nothing happened. Yay. And 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 for you book bookworms, um, J.K. Rowling is also giving you the script to Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, coming out in November as a screenplay. Yeah, it's a screenplay. Yeah, so so the, it's not a, a novel. It's it's, it's a the actual script. It, it basically, remember all those uh, Shakespeare plays that you had to read in uh, high school? It's gonna be that, but with Harry Potter. Yeah. Now it's also gonna be the same for the Cursed Child uh, book. So look forward to that. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm still gonna get it. <laughs> yeah. Cause I'm sorry, I don't live in London and I don't have the money to go to London to watch a play. So, plus the tickets are all sold out anyway, so that, that the only way for me to enjoy that story is through reading a script. Which is almost the same thing, right? Yeah, definitely, I'm just without the, you know, actual Broadway style, you know, acting and stuff. Is it really Broadway if it's in London? What, what is London? What, 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 what is the equivalent of Broadway in London? Fuck if I know. I know Broadway because I'm Amer- I mean America. <laughs> America! Fuck yeah. yeah! Here to save the motherfucking day in yeah, America! Fuck yeah! Sorry. I can't sing, I'm well aware of the fact. You don't need yeah. to tell me. Yeah, yeah. I'll try Neither to- do you! Yeah. I just stuck my finger right in your face. How do you feel? You should feel violated, that's why. <laughs> Well, so that that was about it. That was a lot of ranting. A lot of holy fuck Nintendo. That's what it is. Yeah, I, I'm uh, very disappointed on them. Yeah, I just want to play that damn game. Well, I guess we don't really have a whole lot, do we? No, nope. no one's coming out though. Maybe we we have a month. Maybe now we don't know if it's the first or the the thirty first, but it's a it's the month. Yeah. Or is it third? Is it like fuck? What is it? I mean, what is it like? The it's thir- it's thirty one, right? Thirty one, yes. I mean, what is it? Twilight Princess came out the first Friday of March this year. But the three sure. yes came out the last weekend of March. No, I was, I, I, never mind. Thanks for watching. Um, what are you? We don't really have outros. We just usually tell you to caress that like button and do sexual favors for the subscribe button. We don't know. It's early. That all came out of my mouth. That's not on him at all. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. You have any last words? I'm afraid. I disturbed him. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Will we do this again? Um. Um. We're not going to be doing this because I don't think we have... Next week is finals week, basically. So we're going to be taking a week off. Yeah, we're taking a week off. So I'm, I'm, I I, i don't apologize for this. Yeah, no, this will be the last time you see us for a while. Uh, if anyone out there actually cares. Thanks for watching. Do the like and subscribe thingy because everyone likes to do that. And everyone likes it when others do that. Yeah. And uh, so I, do, I might be back just by the for Civil War. That's only 10 days away. We'll be back whenever we feel like it. Later! Bye!